You know, I am so, so privileged to be here, but my gosh, to follow Jim Fetzer and Ralph Schoenman, that is a great big, uh, great big uh, shadow over my head, which I so respect. Um, I've, been asked, I'm, uh, I've been asked to uh, say some, uh, just, as it were, provide a report from the field, some good news from the field. And the thing is, I've been on this uh, book promotion tour since August the 17th in 10 cities. And so it gives me a little bit of a feeling for what's going on. And the upshot is this. I, I see incontrovertible evidence that most media outlets, by the way, from which most people get most of their information on most subjects most of the time, on Tuesday, most media outlets will be back to the old normal, a hack journalism agenda of celebrities, pseudo events, and stenography. Now, we'll still work to change that. I know distortion in the news otherwise. And um, that part of my book is entitled The Anniversary Waltz. It's devoted to ABC's new special, in quotes, on the first anniversary of 9-11. Now at that time, the ABC News Department alone provided the propaganda. And in my book, I write here, in part, this new special is typical of 9-11 news specials on all the major TV networks on all anniversaries of 9-11 for four years. The medium suggests a full and accurate account of the fall. What follows is neither full nor accurate. Carefully selected details mask other details just as carefully omitted. Any suggestion of doubt, any suggestion the 9 11 crime case is not closed, that the facts are not obvious, that more investigation is needed, that contradictions, contradictions exist, that people exist who are not satisfied with the official story. All this is absent. And further on, to quote uh, the, the piece I did on ABC, this new special is at one with the docudramas that redefine the official story and avoid question. The difference is that the docudramas do it with professional actors and documentary type production values. That new specials do it with real persons. That's a quote in my book, such as Conway and the Rice, playing the role, playing the role. And both blend into seamless reality. My conclusion, the seriousness of the cover-up of a crime ranks very closely with committing the crime itself. It's as simple as A, B, C. Thank you. 
It's this. While the media, with occasional exceptions, remain adamantly resistant to acknowledging any of the brutal facts that blow the official story out of the water, the general public increasingly knows the score. We know the polls that have been mentioned here uh, several times already today. So, cognitive dissonance is reaching the snapping point, surely. Remember the alleged new video the Pentagon released back in May? It wasn't even a real video. It wasn't 30 frames per second. It allegedly showed an airliner hitting the Pentagon. News anchors with their varying versions of assured authority looked millions of us in the eye and pronounced solemnly that these new images of an airliner would put to rest the conspiracy theories. <laughs> they then rolled the tape, which showed that th 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 that's right, folks, no airliner. <laughs> Well, 